Hey everyone, I'm Vivian and today we're going to look at 30 IKEA products that top designers swear by. Number one, the house and chair is part of an indoor-outdoor modular seating line. The first time I saw it, it actually reminded me a little bit of the famous Sierra chair, which is a lot more expensive. If you're looking to add some clean, modern lines to your patio decor, check out the house and chair. They're a little pricey, but they are so worth it. I've sat in them before, super comfortable, and you would never guess that these chairs come from Ikea. They are so gorgeous. The Farlov sofa. Farlov. If you're looking for a well-priced, traditional-style sofa, the Farlov might be the perfect sofa for you. The design is very refined with gently sloping arms, a bench cushion, and an elegant skirt. The Farlov is actually very similar to Restoration Hardware's, what's it called? Belgian Classic Slope Arm Slip Covered Sofa and Pottery Barn's York Slip Covered Sofa. So definitely, if you don't have the budget to go for Restoration Hardware or Pottery Barn, check out the Farlov. It is really, really nice. And also the armchair is really Nice. Next up is the Fajar drawer. Honey, yeah. you're Swedish. Yeah. How do you pronounce this? Fjädrar. What? Fjädrar. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the Fjedrar throw pillows. These are my go-to throw pillows. At $6, they are an absolute bargain. They never lose their shape, they're comfortable, and they're a standard throw pillow size. So you can get like throw pillow covers from other places and they're gonna work great with these pillows. Next up is the Gladham side table. Okay, the Gladham side table is a big favorite among designers due to the simplicity of its design and its ability to fit in with a number of different design styles. Tray top coffee tables and side tables are actually quite big in Scandinavian interiors. I see them used all the time in staged real estate listings. So the Gladham would definitely be a great little accent piece if you're going for the Scandinavian style in your home. Ooh, this one is hard too. Selskaplig. Honey. Selskaplig. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> Wait, what was it again? Selskaplig. Okay, thanks. Okay, the Selskaplig is a really, really beautiful piece of glassware. I love the fact that it also has a matching glass stopper, which just feels like something from another era. It definitely has a kind of like traditional, timeless, vintage feel to it. So I think it would really elevate any table setting. Skarsta stand-up desk. Decent stand-up desks don't come cheap. So the Skarsta stand-up desk is definitely a really great option if you're looking for that kind of thing for your office. IKEA actually does two stand-up desks. The Bacant, which is a bit more expensive because it has like a button that electrically raises the desk up. The Bacant has tubular legs and rounded feet. Now the Skarsta on the other hand is a little cheaper and that is mainly because the way you raise up a desk is actually through a, like a manual hand crank. So it's not as like fancy as the Bacant but I think it actually looks better because it has angular legs and angular feet. The Scottish pegboard. Another awesome office gem is this pegboard. He also sells some cute little accessories that you can add to this pegboard like little shelves and clips and things like that. Hanging one of these little pegboards in your space can really help create that kind of crafty vibe if that's something that you're going for. I think they would work really well in a homeschool type environment as well. The Kallax in white. If so you guys saw my recent IKEA Kallax hack video, you will know I am not a fan of the wood-toned Kallax. However, the white Kallax is a whole other story. I don't know why I didn't buy white. I think they were out of stock or something. Anyways, the white Kallax is one of the most used IKEA pieces. It is so versatile. It's a cute cube unit and it comes in a number of different sizes. I think the 4x2 is probably the most popular. A lot of people use it as backgrounds for their videos. In their offices, you can flip it up, you can put it on its side, you can hack it, you can add legs to it, and it's just clean and really versatile. So if you're looking for like some office furniture or a divider for your space or something, definitely look into the white Kallax. It is really a great piece of clean design. Next is the Nevlinge pendant light. We need help with this one. How do you say this? Nevlinge. Nevlinge. Thank you. I love the gorgeous streamlined design of this pendant light. It's also a good size, coming in at about 13 inches. You can definitely use a couple over a dining table or over a kitchen island. The Nisa 4s and Raskog utility carts. I love a good utility cart and both of these options are fantastic. The Raskog is more rounded and soft in terms of shape and the Nisa 4s is more angular and also a bit bigger. They're both priced very well and fantastic for any space that needs a little bit of mobile storage. Pax wardrobe I have to agree with the general consensus that the PAX wardrobe system is 
awesome. It's fully customizable. It has a bajillion accessories. It's got organizer thingies, lighting options, door options, even from other companies. There are so many options for the pack system that it can actually be a little overwhelming. But once you get over that, you can really create a closet that works for you. IKEA has some pretty dang good flat weave rugs and I put three on the list today. The first one is the Low Hals Jute Rug. You've probably seen this before. This is a widely used jute rug. It is 100% natural jute and it comes in three different sizes, two by four, five by seven, and six by nine. It's super durable, it's low maintenance, and the price point is amazing. I would recommend using the Low Hals if you're into layering rugs or if you're looking to just introduce some warm texture into your room. Next is the Torslev Woven Rug. The Torslev is a simple but beautiful flat woven rug that's perfect for any smaller space like an entryway or a laundry room or a back door entry or something like that. The natural base with the quirky black and white stripe is kind of a classic design that would really go with any style interior. And again, the price is just incredible at just $19.99 US. One bonus with the Torse Love is that the design is the same on both sides, so you can flip it over and you get even more use out of the rug that way. The third rug on the list is the Stockholm Striped Rug. It's been used and loved by some of the top designers in the world. It's graced the covers of some of the biggest design magazines in the world, like El Decor, for example. It's hand-woven and 100% wool, and just like the Torse Love that we talked about before, the design is the same on both sides, so you can flip it and get more use out of it. The graphic black and white stripe pattern is super versatile and works with so many different interior styles. And the bonus is that this one actually comes in quite a large size and it's only $199. So this is a steal. It looks great. It's cheap. It's beautiful. You basically can't go wrong with the Stockholm rug. The Cinerlig Pendant. Ah, uh, yet another iconic IKEA piece. This pendant light has been popping up for years all over interior designers and Instagrammers feeds. It's made of woven bamboo and it's a really great big size. So it, this pendant will really make a statement in your room. This lamp is great for interiors that lean maybe boho. It's gonna look great with an interior that has a lot of wood tones and plants and things like that. One word of warning with the center leg though, if your ceilings are on the lower side, I would be a little careful with this pendant because it is quite large. You might risk it looking a little heavy visually. Frosta stool. If you're a fan of true Scandinavian mid-century design, then you may know that the Frosta stool is actually a dupe of the much more expensive Stool 60 by Finnish mid-century designer Oliver Alto. This stool is one nice piece of design. It's stackable and multifunctional. It can be used as a side table, it can be used as a seat, it can be used as a footstool. The bad news is that unfortunately, this stool is only sold at IKEA in the Netherlands for some reason. IKEA Canada and IKEA US sell this one instead. I heard that they had problems with copyright or something like that. I'm not sure if that's true, but this is the option that we have now in North America. It's close, but let's be real, it's just not the same. Come on, IKEA, get it together. Next is the Kullerberg stool. Color, I don't, I, I'm not saying that right. Let's ask the resident Swede. Okay, last one, I promise. Kullabari. 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 Awesome, okay. If you want a stool that feels a little bit more industrial, then the Kullabari could be a better option for you. The Fado lamp is a 10 inch spherical glass lamp that is incredibly stylish and incredibly versatile. It's actually reminiscent of the much more expensive Jasper Morrison Global Light, which costs well over $300. It comes in two colors at the moment, milky white opaque glass and a transparent gray. I recommend the white version. You can place it on the floor, on a shelf, in your entryway, basically anywhere you want a warm and cozy glow. I use mine with a smart ball so I can set it to whatever color I like. An extra bonus with this light is that it may be glass, but it is durable. My robot vac knocked it off the table once and it fell down and it literally bounced. It didn't shatter. I was amazed. I already loved this lamp, but after that I was 100% sold. My only complaint, I just wish they made a bigger size as well. Adelston Mortar and Pestle. I'm a fan of introducing natural materials into your home whenever you can. The Adelston Mortar and Pestle is made of hard marble, just looks like a really high-end piece of kitchenware. Kugis and Barriera Storage Boxes. Storage boxes just make all the difference when you're trying to organize your crap. Now I know a lot of people recommend clear storage bins, but I disagree. I think they look messy. That's why I really love the Kugis and Barriera boxes. They're white, they're clean, they're simple. The Kugis are awesome because they're lidded and stackable and they come in a variety of different sizes. They all kind of like stack together. The Barriera storage boxes aren't lidded and they're really great for corralling things into categories um, in spaces like your kitchen. That's how I use them. Dietog linen curtain. These linen curtains are definitely a great buy. Because if you've ever searched for linen curtains online, then you'll know that they're pretty expensive. These ones are beautiful, white, simple, elegant. They provide privacy while still allowing light to filter through the fabric. And they're 98 inches long. 
So if you're looking for a longer curtain, go for the diagonal linen curtain. 98 inches is a great length. The Ecorness floor mirror and table mirror. With the light wood and rounded corners, these mirrors are just really beautiful. They honestly look like they cost a lot more than they actually do. Highly recommend. The Lind Bin mirrors with the black frames. I love these mirrors, especially the racetrack version and the round version. The thing that really elevates these mirrors is that thin black aluminum frame. I'm just so tired of overly chunky frames. This frame is beautiful, it's minimal, it's simple, and it's gonna just look so amazing in your home. For some reason right now on the website, it says last chance to buy. So I don't know if that means that they're like discontinuing the black version or something like that. So if you like this mirror, act fast because it might be discontinued soon. Boomerang white clothes hangers. If your closet is looking like a bomb went off in it and you're trying to create some kind of visual order, try these hangers. They're just simple white wooden clothes hangers and they just give a really beautiful cohesive look to what can be a kind of like chaotic section of you know your home. The Anudin door hanger. I'm just not sure why you would ever, ever use something that looks like this when you can buy something that looks like the Anudin door hanger. You tell me. The Anudin door hanger hangs directly over your door, so you don't have to put nails into your door. The design is clean and minimal. It's white, so if you've got a white door, it's just gonna blend right into your door. You're not even gonna notice it, and it's really, really great for small spaces that just need that extra little bit of like vertical hanging storage. Lombican frames, the big ones. I have big love for these big frames. Actually, you can see that one right behind me there. That is the big lumbican frame. If you've ever done any sort of custom framing, then you will know that big frames get expensive really fast. The lumbican is great because again, it doesn't have a chunky obnoxious frame and it doesn't have a gigantic pane of glass either. It actually just comes with a big piece of polystyrene instead of glass. So if your frame falls, which hopefully it won't, or you're transporting it or something like that, you're not gonna risk shattering a gigantic pane of glass. Peter Gurkha and Vattenkrass watering cans. There is no reason for you to have a watering can that looks like this anymore when you can buy watering cans that look like these ones. I know a lot of like chic, stylish watering cans that are considered design objects can get very pricey. I've seen some really expensive ones and they look great, but they're just, I just can't get on board with spending so much money on a watering can. That's the great thing about these watering cans is that they look great, they're functional, and they don't have to be stored away when you're not using them because they're not butt ugly. I leave my Bitter Gurkha out on display when I'm not using it because I just think it's a really pretty piece of design. And those are, in my opinion, the most successful IKEA products. Functional and beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, try watching some of my other videos as well and see what you think. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm there pretty much every day and I love reading your messages and interacting with you. See you next time. Bye.